What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the San Mario Sports Network. And before we get anything started today, man, I just have to tell you guys a quick little story about my luck. So after Hurricane Irma, a tropical storm came through Miami, uh, and basically I had five power outages in a row, uh, just back to back to back to back, and it completely fried uh, my LG 32 inch. It was the first TV I ever purchased, like with my money that I ever purchased, uh, and I purchased it in 2014. Uh, and so I, I, it hurt me, you know, that's the first TV I've ever purchased and it was fried. Uh, so then my dad offers me a TV that he wasn't using at his house and I get the TV and to my luck, that TV is broken. Samsung TV and that one's broken. And today I ordered a 4k TV on, uh, not really Friday, but Thursday, my dad ordered it for me. I had to pay him. Uh, and my mom is the one who bought it for me for Christmas. So it's a Christmas gift from my mom that my dad bought for me that I have to give the money to him for. But my mom paid for it. I just have to give my dad the money. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but but that's the order of operations there. And I was so excited. I haven't had a TV in so long. I mean, 49 and a half inch TV. I mean, I was excited as all hell. And then turn on the TV and it shattered. And... My dad doesn't know if it was my fault or if it, he said that the box that it was delivered in was already, it had dents in it and it was delivered in UPS ground. Uh, he doesn't know if I did it or if it was UPS ground, but either way, we're getting a new TV on Saturday. It's going to be, I guess it's going to be the same CV. We're just bringing in the broken one and getting it replaced with Best Buy. So a little two minutes there of hearing my luck, but... I got a struck of good a strike of good luck today as I was able to I ordered a Nighthawk router because it was 60 bucks on Amazon and usually it's 130 but it was on 60 on Cyber Monday. So I ordered that and it was supposed to come in tomorrow and I was gonna be at my dad's house tomorrow, so I wasn't gonna be at my setup. And to my luck, it came in today, and to my luck, it works. So a, a strike of good luck, but we're not here to talk about that. I know I've gone almost three minutes into it, but I just had to I had to tell you guys about my luck, man. I've been telling everybody today. We're in the mock draft of the Miami Dolphins, and uh, we're getting excited here. I know it's draft time. The Dolphins, I believe, have the eighth pick, so let's get into this. Let me turn off my phone so that you don't hear it. I tested out normal last time, and now I'm doing difficult. So we should see. We'll see what difficult looks like. I thought we had the eighth pick. I guess it's the tenth pick. So... Apparently, this is what difficult looks like. Minka Fitzpatrick going one. That'll never happen. Connor Williams, Saquon Barkley to the Giants. Yeah, okay. Quentin Nelson. Baker Mayfield to the Broncos. Interesting. Bradley Chubb to the Bears. Josh Rosen to the Jets. Christian Wilkins to the Browns. And Harold Landry to the Buccaneers. Now, of course, I am one that believes that the Miami Dolphins need to get a quarterback. Yes, I hear it. I hear you guys loud and clear. I hear how everybody and their grandma wants Baker Mayfield. I hear everyone and their grandma wants Lamar Jackson. They think Lamar Jackson, he's not going to be an RG3. He's going to be able to pass the ball. He's going to be able to do things that uh we, we, don't, we haven't seen in a while. 30 touchdowns last year, nine picks. He can run. 21 touchdowns won the Heisman. I think he could be it. I just don't think they're drafting a quarterback first round. I just can't see them drafting a guy in the first round. That's a quarterback. I see them going either guard offensive tackle or center. In this case, we're going to go guard and I know guard of the 10th pick doesn't seem sexy, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm going with the pick I want to go with. I want Sam Hubbard. Let me give you guys Sam Hubbard's stats. All right. It's three and a half sacks last year. Kind of what a down year, but he's been playing really well this year. And I'm going with Sam Hubbard. All right. Take it forward is we need another edge rusher. I think that they're going to get rid of uh, Cameron Wake. So we need another edge rusher, man. We need another guy that can come through. I'm going with Sam Hubbard. I'm taking the risk there, not taking a corner. I'm taking the risk, all right? I didn't take a guard. I didn't take a center. Taking that risk. I know Mason Cole isn't going to be there, but there you go, guys. Sam Darnold went right after. Mason Cole's not going to be available. I'd be shocked if he was available because I'd pick him in a heartbeat. 
Oh, shit. We get a center. Mason Cole out of Michigan. So we get an Ohio State and a Michigan alum on the same team. Sheesh. Jesus. All right. That, I like that draft already. Edge rusher and a center. I like that. This is a draft I, I could I can hang on to. This is a draft I like. There's a couple of players that I see that I, I, I'm kind of a fan of, but I don't know. And if it sounds a little weird, I'm using my mic a little differently because I'm recording this on my left monitor, not my monitor in the middle. Uh, we have the ninth pick, so we get to pick pretty high here. Or the tenth pick, excuse me. Do we? Oh, no, 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 not the glitch. Not the glitch. No, the glitch. The glitch. No. The glitch. Guys, the glitch that happened to us in the same round last week. No. Oh, my God. Jesus. Well, I wanted to draft Antonio Callaway anyways, but why does the glitch have to go again? Look, Antonio Callaway is a guy who's had a lot of issues off the field, but... I think he's got the stuff, man. I just, I do. And I, I just, I, I like Antonio Cowley a lot. Look, I'm a, I'm a UF fan, obviously, but come on. I, I just, I, I like it. I like him a lot. There's Kurt Benkert. That guy had a great game against UM's great defense who ended up losing. I'm not a UM fan. I'm a Gators fan. I think a lot of you guys know that already, but yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm a Gators fan, thick and thin. So <clears throat> take that for what it is. If you're a UM fan and you want to unsubscribe, I'm sorry, but. I'm a Gators fan. I've always will be, and I always have been. So, uh, yeah. There are two quarterbacks right now on the board that I like, and that is Nick Fitzgerald and Will Greer. But I think it might be a little too high to draft both of them. So I'm going to go with – I went with him. Do I go with Mark Walton again, or do I grab a linebacker? Because, like, I like Davin Belloway, and I like – I can't pronounce his name, but out of southeast Louisiana – uh, Sion, to, to who I can't I look. I'm not gonna make a fool of myself. We I don't think we need tackles. We need guards. The sexy pick here is to go for a a, a nice guy like Deshaun Hand. Ooh, fuck it. We're getting Deshaun Hand. You know what? I'm beefing up. I'm making this a draft that I like. Right, version 2.0. That's gonna be the draft that I like, man. I, I sh screw all this. R.J. McIntosh was there too. Man, I might pick. If we, I think we have two fourth round picks. I'll pick RJ McIntosh. I don't care. <laughs> Bro, like, I'm picking the team I like. RJ McIntosh. Bam. Screw. You know what? I'm doing what I want. I'm going to do the me draft right here, all right? I'm going to do the me draft. I'm going to take those players. And in the fifth round, you know what? I'm going to draft Will Greer if he's there. If he's not there, then I'm not drafting him. <laughs> but if he is there, I'm drafting Will Greer. Take it for what it is. No one should ever draft Malik Zaire. Sorry, but no Florida quarterback is good right now. I miss Will Greer. Deeply. I deeply miss him. I think everybody on my channel knows that. All in the draft I talked about last time was how much I missed Will Greer. So, shit. It's still simming. Nick Fitzgerald went off the board to the Steelers. It's a weird pick. Mark Fields to the Steelers. Why are all these compensatory picks already through, but we don't have any? What? Talk about some bullshit. Jacob Pugh is another up, oh, just as I say that. But he was an edge rusher. I can't draft an edge rusher like that again. Duke Dawson is someone I would love to take a hit on. Back, uh, Braxton Berrios. All right, did the glitch happen again? Bro, fan speak. Get your shit fixed, man. Ugh, get your shit fixed, fan speak. No, yeah, Duke Dawson and Braxton Berrios are two guys I like, but I already drafted a wide receiver, and since the glitch is, like, happening, and I can't f get a QB that I want, probably, unless I can find him, Will Greer. Yeah, we're going to go We're gonna go with the Will Greer pick there, all right? I know a lot of people are going to give me shit for picking Will Greer again, and I know a lot of people are going to give me shit for not drafting Lamar Jackson, but... I got faith, all right? I got faith. You just got to, you got to, 
You gotta have some crazy ass faith like me, all right? <laughs> you just gotta have some crazy ass faith like I do, and uh, sometimes you're wrong, and most of the time you're wrong, and you just gotta live with it when you are wrong, but that's just not the point, yeah? Larry Allen Jr. goes to Harvard? Someone should just draft him for his name. Oh, the Packers did. <laughs> of course. Debo Samuel. That's a great name. Imagine name, be naming Debo Samuel. That's an awesome name. CC Jefferson is another guy I really like. But guess what? He's also another guy from Florida. <laughs> Dude, I've taken a Florida man, a Miami man, a, fo- a Florida, former Florida man. I like CC Jefferson too. What's his stats this year? CC Jefferson. Oh. CC Jeff. Fuck. Jefferson. I'm really trying to stop swearing. Jefferson. I know I didn't spell that, spell that right. Stats. Can't spell when you're trying to do things fast. At least not for me. What's he at this year? 19 solo tackles. 13 and a half for loss. Four and a half sacks. All right. I feel like that's worthy. Oh, we got another pick with the glitch, too. Damn. Shizite. Uh, D Delaney, but that's another Miami man. I can't do that. Chris Hawkins. Oh, thank God the stats are there. 44 tackles, four and a half for loss, one sack last year. What about this year? Chris Hawkins. USC. Stats. Sports reference. This year he has 39, 68 total, four and a half for loss, uh, three sacks this year, and a pick. All right, that could be. I like that pick. That's a nice pick. That is a quality selection in the seventh round. Quality. You see, you got to pick quality over quantity, right? You got you to gotta pick quality over quantity. Do your homework. Make sure you don't draft Will Greer twice because you know you're going to get shit on your YouTube channel for doing it. Know that you probably should have drafted D Delaney and instead you decided to go with a safety when you really didn't need a safety and you could have just picked D Delaney and you did it anyway. So overall, I think that's a nice draft. Sam Hubbard, Mason Cole, Antonio Callaway, Deshaun Hand. I think those are the two the two four guys that are the main ones. And RJ McIntosh, Will Greer, CC Jefferson, and Chris Hawkins. I don't really understand what about this was difficult. It, it kind of seemed like the same thing to me, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Felt the same to me, but didn't get any linebackers, corners, guards, tight ends. We got a tight end today, so we didn't need that, but we covered defensive line, safety, QB, and edge, and center. So, yeah, that that's pretty much it, guys. I'm, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys will have a video tomorrow, even though I won't be uh, at the command center, but, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, peace.